Hey, everyone. First of all, who puts on a poll with a question like this? Headline of the National Post, more than one in four Canadians support jail time for unvaccinated. Poll. Asked how much sympathy respondents had for an unvaccinated person who becomes seriously ill or dies as a result of COVID-19. 27% said they had none at all. It's reported by Anja Karadaglia, January 19th, 2022. Many Canadians are in favor of harsh punishment for the unvaccinated, with 37% saying in a new poll it would be acceptable to deny them publicly funded health care, and 27% that it would be okay to go as far as a short jail sentence. A majority of Canadians have little sympathy for the unvaccinated, said John Wright, Executive Vice President of Mayor of Public Opinion, which conducted the poll on January 14th and 15th. Mayor surveyed an online panel of 1,506 Canadians. It found two-thirds of Canadians are in favor of mandatory vaccines for everyone over the age of five. Health Minister Jean-Yves Duclos said earlier this month that mandatory vaccinations are on the horizon and something that provincial governments should be discussing. The poll also asked about various punitive measures for those who would refuse a mandatory vaccination. 33% of the survey respondents said it would be acceptable to not allow them to renew their driver's license. Another 37% said it would be okay to refuse to allow them access to any publicly funded hospital medical services. More than a quarter, 27% said it would be acceptable to make them serve up to five days as part of a jail sentence for endangering others, overwhelming the healthcare system. Of course, all this pretends or suggests that just because you're unvaccinated that you somehow have COVID. And not only do you have it, but you're out there wreaking havoc in society, knowingly. Wright said that with the spread of the Omicron variant, many Canadians are now experiencing a de facto withdrawal of medical services. An increasing group of people either can't get access to the medical care that they need, or they're seeing members of their family or their circle being refused that same kind of a treatment, he said. The viewpoint, Wright said, is that if an unvaccinated person hasn't taken any precautions whatsoever, why should you be more at the front of the line than others who have done all the right things? and they aren't able to get access to treatment, including people who have had cancer treatment delayed by months. 61% of the respondents said it would be okay to make the unvaccinated pay a monetary health care surcharge on their taxes of up to $150 per month. That's the same percentage that said it would be okay to make such individuals pay out of pocket for the full medical costs if they're admitted to hospital or the ICU with COVID-19. The sentiment out there is, if you're going to clog up the health care system, then you're going to pay for it yourself, Wright said. Anyways, folks, I don't know what you want to take away from this particular poll, but even if it's remotely accurate, the message, well, I guess accurate or not, right? The message being sent here and articulated in this article is, yeah, there's like at least a quarter of Canadians who are just plain evil and would be quite pleased to see those who haven't bent the knee or taken the jabs, yes, multiple jabs, which at this point in time is proven to be at the very least minimally effective. And let's not even talk about the fact that there's new vaccines in the development stage that are going to be coming to light or coming soon within just a matter of a couple months, right? So let's see how that plays out. But once again, this is, this is just an acknowledgement, I guess, that there's a substantial portion, even though it's a minority, but it's still a substantial portion, one in four Canadians, who so loathe, detest, and have such disdain for others that they want to see them thrown in jail, monetarily crushed, and have all manner of sticks thrown at the unvaccinated. Yeah, mob mentality, it's on the rise, and it's being whipped up by the ruling class and their media mouthpieces, such as these folks. Anyway, folks, I'll place this article in the description of the video below. This is Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.